So, um, season 10, Sylvie Brett uh, actually creates a bit of a pet project for herself. You know, what we kind of find at the beginning of season 10 is that um, ambulance, ambulances are short and um, Violet and Brett are having a hard time actually making it to some really important incidents because of sort of non-emergency calls. And so Brett is trying to come up with a way that she can help the people of Chicago and um, help the CFD to actually have Ambos ready to go um, by creating her own little private project. So there are a lot of changes coming to Firehouse 51 in season 10. You know, we've been together for such a long time and everybody just keeps getting promoted and doing all these amazing things. And, um, you know, as the people in the house mature, there's a lot of uh, transition. So we have Bowden, you know, being presented with the uh, opportunity to become deputy district chief. And obviously we have Stella Kidd who's on the list to become a lieutenant. And you know, we also have some some characters from the past that are gonna pop up and that are gonna create some really impactful changes for Firehouse 51. So stay tuned for that. Sylvie's had a lot of partners and the Ambo. And um, the 61's been a little bit of a a little bit of a swinging door, a little bit of a revolving door, and finally we have Violet Mikami, played by the wonderful Hanako Greensmith, and she is brilliant. Like, Hanako's come in, she's got such a can-do attitude, she learned everybody's name, like all the cast and crew, like that, um, and she fits right in, which is such a relief, because it's a big group, and it takes a lot to, to kind of fit in and and have the same sick sense of humor that we all have here at Firehouse 51. Um, and I really, I think that she is a very unique character. She's a unique partner in terms of, she's like a bit of a brainiac, but she has a really kind of dry, sardonic sense of humor. And, you know, I feel like as people get to know her, they'll realize like, She's kind of a, a gore fan, so she's a little bit of a sicko as a paramedic, which is something that we've never explored before, but I think is probably really real. Um, so I think she is going to be really interesting to watch, and people people are really going to enjoy her, and she's gorgeous. And, you know, also there's, like, all of this unexplored uh, material between Violet and Gallo, obviously. <laughs> We're going to have to figure that out, and she will talk to me about all of it.